too many papers. I lost it. I'm like, it's not that big. <laughs> no, the other one. <laughs> So you're so you're getting them? Yes, it was either I, I, I did a test one today, so Yeah, it must have been but I think I got it yesterday. Okay. I got two things, but yeah. I, I had him check me um uh, like my email address because yeah. I'm signed up and he yeah. says you're only signed up for news, not agendas and things. Well I think I'm it like, was okay. kind of confusing <laughs> when I signed up. I think I checked everything because I didn't know which yeah, one to right. check. <laughs> when you re-signed. Right? Yes, yes. See he just pulled me over and I says, Well, I don't remember so long ago. Did I have a choice? So we're gonna start looking into what? So it should be fixed shortly. Yeah. I'm gonna so call I him did tomorrow. get something. I, Excellent. Yeah, okay. yeah, so I said, oh, problem. Of course he goes, you can do that, you know. I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> he walked me through it, but. Yeah. I was making $120 an hour as a computer Well, I know, I'd love maybe. to have my email back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's that? I, I'm ready, what have you guys got? I'm ready. Sure. What do you want? I want the same thing. No sense of changing. <laughs> On your supplies, the one question that was out there, um, do you want the bouncy house? Are you doing a table with the bouncy house for the festival? Or well, it festival depends when she does it. Yeah. And all Gonna stick to that same. Yeah. Yep, the bouncy house, yeah. Okay. I have no problem doing that. Okay. Um, eventually, hopefully, so, it'll work that I can. They're saying they're going to try to stick with that date. Because, I mean, that's kind of the, okay. the issue when you keep bouncing around. People don't know when, but mm -hmm. if, it, if people started going, oh, it's like the Athens Fair, it's right? This time of year, you know, and you start getting more steady people coming. But, yep. Okay. So we're gonna go with a fifteen ten on that. On supplies, yeah, that's where the bouncy house was. Yeah. I think no. No, well, bouncy house is an outside service. Outside service, yeah. Same number. I'm gonna use Tricky Dick's magic show. I'm actually looking into a balloon person. Okay. I met her at the Rochester Fair. I matter of fact, I need to email her and make sure she has like an I-9 or stuff before I go any further or want to change it up or something. Okay. Because I like to do the animals too, but they're like 200 and some odd dolls. And I'm like, nope, not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same budget, 165. Yep. I'm gonna stay there. Okay. Yep, I'll make it work then because I asked her what she charged and stuff, so. <clears throat> Check our numbers from last year. 92 on payroll taxes. Stephen was 1200. That was probably about it. Yes, I'm sorry. Tell me, I need to make that print bigger for you, Paul. Well, I can see it real good. Oh, I'm like, I like You wouldn't believe it. He's got new glasses. He's got no cataracts. He's got new eyes. Nice. Yeah, he's doing all right. My mom had cornea replacements in both her eyes now. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me tell you, that woman's 82 and she's got better eyesight than me. Yep. So there's something wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ben, how's your mother doing, by the way? Well, yeah. thank she's you. Yeah. She's on drops, right? Yeah, <laughs> one burns, that's all oh. I know. <laughs> the last one burns. <laughs> uh, Supplies, keeping it the same. <clears throat> yep. I know you said it, but it's weird. There's no total at the bottom. Check on the next page. Oh, yeah, right. You're right. I'm Remember just that. saying, maybe. I heard. No. Well, I, I do remember one be. doing that way, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Should be thirty, thirty-one forty-two or thirty-one fifty-two or something like that. Thirty-one forty-two. Yeah. with that sounds good to me okay it's like quickest meeting there you go got <laughs> 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 a little bit of a 
Yeah, actually I did. I'm sitting over here half asleep. Um, Jordy, one of the things that um, we've been asking is about candy. Like how much of your budget goes to candy? Well, let's see. I just stuffed 500 bags. You know, you spend $500 on candy no, for one. No, no, not even on candy. It's like prizes and things like that in the bags that I do through Rhode Island Novelty. It's bags, prizes, um, and little goodies that I put in the bags. And then I buy 500 bags so I have my count. So mm -hmm. every year when a kid comes up, we mark an X on them. So we know that he has his bag or she has her bag. And then at the end of the year, we count. And that way I know my count every year. So we okay. have that, and then I buy extra candy because cars come and don't have enough candy to hand out to everybody, and they come and see me. Plus, I'm doing the hallway in the school too this year because PTO backed out. What do you mean you're doing the hallway in the school? They duck. They start from Hanson School. They walk across the bridge, right? And they go through a path, right? And they go through the school, and inside yep. the school there's a bouncy yep. house, a big sale, will be face painting. Um, uh, sand art and I know something else with PTO was doing and they took a treat down through the school ha hall to different doors and they go out to the back and then they come down and trick or treat to the cars. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun but the, we were just wondering are we like people that like I was gonna come but I don't know am I supposed to bring candy I mean because that's a that's, lot of candy, 500 bucks worth of candy yeah, and then it's 500 like pieces of candy roughly that you need I mean, it all, all depends on how you shop on it. That's why I went to Walmart and I'm like looking at my bags. I got one that's got like 315 pieces and I got another one that had 400 and some of pieces. So, but there was only one bag. Oh, so all well, that stuff that you got from like Oriental Trading stuff, that's prizes. That's, that's prizes not candy. That's go into the bags for the kids I got to the truck. Okay, because we were, every time we were looking, it was like another, every time Jeanette walked in, she was like, I got another purchase order from Georgie. It has to be done like right now. And, and she goes, it's for candy. And we're all going like, the heck is all that candy? Last year, too, at the end. Because <laughs> I always have a tote full of candy for the cars that run out of candy. Yeah. Um, even PTO ran out of candy last year, and they come and got some for me. You know, a lot of people, they buy a lot, but if you hand out handfuls and not like one or two pieces, then right. I mean, there's a lot of kids. Am I correct? Yes, there is. Yeah. I think you said there. you were short, just short of 500 kids last 483 year. 483 right? kids we had last year. Wow. Well. Because I had 17 bags left over. As a matter of fact, I filled those 17 bags with candy again and put them in my in my count. So I have 517 bags this year. Yeah. No, we we didn't know there was like prizes. We just kept yeah. every time Jeanette yeah. walked in, she was like candy, candy, and we were like, she only, she how much freaking candy? One, one was <laughs> I know. To do my Orient, my Rhode Island novelty, and one was to do the candy. And oh, I did one it. was for Oriental trading or something Rhode too, Island right? Novelty. Yeah, so we were like, how much candy do you need? <laughs> well, you know, those kids. Those kids. Oh, yeah, you could give them $800 with no, candy piece they'd eat it off. It don't mean it's good for them. True, but it's a safe little place to do it. True. So are you saying you're not going to be there tomorrow night? I actually <laughs> am going to be there tomorrow night, Georgie. I told you I would, and I, right. and I will be there tomorrow. I have my count. <laughs> I'm going to be there tomorrow, and okay. then I have to run over afterwards because I have to, I'm volunteering over for the bonfire at zombie, oh, the zombie whatever it is. <laughs> I know. How did you manage to get on the same night as them? Don't ask me. I always have it on a Saturday, but there's a class reunion at the school tomorrow night, or oh, Saturday night, and mm. I couldn't do it, so I'm trying to come up with a better scenario, maybe for next year, maybe use yeah. in the field. I think you'll yeah. do fine on Friday night anyway. Hmm? I think you'll do fine on Friday night anyway. I don't think it'll be bad. It's just, mm. it's easier to set up on a Saturday. I have more time. Mm -hmm. Thank you for answering me. Okay. Yeah. Right. Go to supper now. There you go. Everything else. Have fun, oh yes, you too. So I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, thank you. Do you have anything? No, I was just I thought you were doing budgets, so that's why I just came to Yeah, this. I just finished transfer station. Um well did hers and Shirley's coming in, I think at about six. Yeah. Go for six. I just got an email back though, uh seeing as you had the question about the list serve and stuff like that. So um I can read it. It's going to be easier, and I'll probably post it on the website because it sounds to me like everybody should re-sign up, and then and then the new way to sign up is click on what you want. Mm -hmm. And uh, they did tell me today you could sign up three times; it won't matter. 
it's not going to send you three different messages. It's still only going to send you the one. But uh, there is a difference. Let me go back here. I got mine today. I had a, had him do a test. Oh. Um, <laughs> so. I think I got something yesterday. I really do. Well, I got something yesterday, but it was just a blank. It was it had a subject, it, but then when you clicked on it, there was nothing in the email. Yeah, two I of them. I actually got two. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if this makes sense to everybody, and you can watch it on video three, four times over if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Here is that report link that we talked about earlier. It gives me a link. I checked with Luke, and he confirmed that the mailing list from the old website was imported into the new website. In terms of email postings, there is a difference that your staff will want to remember. The email lists available on the new site are configured based on two factors, content type and department board ownership. A meeting agenda posted in the board of selectmen is different than a meeting minutes posted in the planning board, which is different from news posted from the homepage, and there may be a completely different list of email addresses signed <laughs> up to receive each posting. So basically the easy answer is everybody re-sign back up and pick what you want pick to get. Pick what you want. <laughs> the old website had a single mailing list, news and announcements. That mailing list was imported only into the news topics for the site homepage. Enrollments for the other topics on the new website are still in their beginning stages as residents and other visitors sign themselves up. So he's asking me, was the news email list on the old site being used for other any other types of information such as Board of Selectmen's agendas? Yes, it was. Yeah. It was. So, should we import the homepage news subscribers into any of the other email topics? Which yes, I'll have him do that. So that might that might help. But if people yeah. are signing, re-signing up, it's not going to hurt anything either. Oh. And pick what they want. But I'll at least put them over into agendas. Um, import the page available. This would more closely match the expectations of the people who are already signed up on the old website. Another option would be to send out a news posting from the home page to notify the current subscribers that more email options are available now to please visit the new website to sign up for anything they are interested in. Uh, that would notify everybody who was signed up before but would avoid the issue of signing people up for a topic they may not want. Um, of course we need to uh, take an either option and let visitors and residents grow into the new site gradually, sign them so that they wish. Basically that's, that's that. Um, so I think I'll just have him take the old names and put them into agendas because that's the biggest complaint I'm hearing. Yeah. And then people need to go back and sign up if right. they want planning board minutes and agendas and budget committee and stuff like that and do that yeah, separate. That's good. Okay. So we get an answer. We're growing and changing it a little bit. I've, I've been able to spend a little more time on it in the last couple of days and mm -hmm. changing some things around. So. But, all right. I'm gonna make some photocopies. Did you want a copy of the proposed contract to, to read from Waste Management's proposed contract yeah. for next year? Yeah. 